So this segment will focus on a quick introduction of what Ingenius is uh, all about. I'm going to share my screen. Here I'm on the Ingenius website. Login. I'm going to, to log in with my um, uh, EDU address. And once you are logged in, you can access the dashboard. The one step before accessing the dashboard is to select which license you have. You might have multiple licenses. You might have uh, different courses running. Uh, you might have access to different modules. I'm just going to use uh, my instructor complementary license for this uh, demo. And this is what Ingenius looks like. So you have basically three major areas in the uh, online interface. You have all the controls on the left, which gives you access to case studies, uh, tutorials, template generation, and so on. And you have the actual models you have access to. Here we have uh, five. Then here in, in the middle, uh, you have your data, which I fill out in a few seconds. And on the top right corner, a few straightforward control uh, to reset the page, uh, save your data, and so on. We'll go over that in a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is to just show you how running one simple case study uh, works. I'm going to open a well-known case study, Infinity G20. Uh, all the data appears in the center of the screen. And on the left, you see a few quick links, which basically give you access to case study, case solution, uh, and a quick link to the actual software that you can run with that specific case study. Obviously, uh, students will not have access to will not have access to the case solution. Uh, if you'd like to launch a model, you run on Run Positioning Analysis, select the options you'd like. I'm going to keep pretty much all the default options. I'm going to just force uh, a three-dimensional map uh, to show you one of the features you have. And then you click Run. Uh, before clicking Run, you have to decide what kind of report you'd like to have. Uh, and you can have a report in PowerPoint format, Excel, Word, PDF, even downloading the data in a zip file format. I'm just going to keep a web page to keep things simple. And then you let it go. Everything is happening on uh, the application server in real time. It will just take a few seconds. And this is what we have. So um, you have regular output for positioning studies, such as number of dimensions retained, uh, variance explained. I'm not going to the details. I just want to show you what a report looks like. Uh, you have, for some reports, very interesting views, such as here in a positioning map, uh, 3D view of the market. So you can see how brands are positioned uh, for uh, compared to one another. Uh, and then additional maps, charts, tables, uh, all kinds of things that I'm not going to cover, uh, but uh, pretty lengthy and, and detailed uh, reports. And usually, uh, we try to add explanations everywhere so that your students, when they see the report, can understand uh, how they need to read 